Alright, so we're back here with on FYR with Clay and Logan from On The Record. So, um, <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourselves. What school do you go to? Uh, we go to Cedar Ridge High School. Yeah. Um, what grade are you in? I'm a junior. I'm a sophomore. Alright, well we're wondering, so how did you get your band started and where did it originate? Uh, well, we first started out in December 2008. Um, we were, we met at church. Yeah. Uh, Logan and I have been buddies since, you know, 2008. And I started playing guitar at that time. So as soon as I started playing guitar, I was like, oh man, I could start a band. So, you know, as every, you know, musician starts. Um, then I found Logan and it was all history from there. <laughs> Alright, so um, well, did you get any inspiration like with the music that you play, like a certain artist or maybe a family well, member or someone? I know Clay over here really likes the band Green Day. Yeah. You can tell that a lot <laughs> from our music, but me and our, me and the drummer mostly like a lot of jazz artists. I mean, like not really to name any, but we listen to jazz music a lot, and a lot of our style comes from that. But it's mostly punk rock is where we get our style from yeah we all in the band we all have different like influences so like our drummer is more like a hip-hop kind of guy our bassist is more you know pop punkish. I'm more of a pop kind of guy and Logan likes that funk stuff <laughs> you know whatever that is so when we combine it it makes for a cool sound okay. what genre would you guys call your band like pop punk kind of pop rock -ish. pop rock yeah, yeah. Pop yeah. Punk. All right, so um, who does the, who does the writing in the band? Like, makes up the lyrics, or do you guys do it all together? Usually, usually Clay writes most of the songs, but sometimes me and Clay collaborate. Like, I'll write the music and he'll write the lyrics. But a lot of the musical genius comes from Clay. Yeah, he's really whatever. the mastermind behind all our music. What what we usually do is, yeah, I'll I'll write a song, and record just a straight demo of it, and uh, send it to the guys, or Logan and I will say, "Hey, man, we haven't wrote in a while," and so we'll write, we'll write something cool because everything we write is cool, and uh, you know whatever. And Logan sometimes will write music and send it to me, and we'll have a song about that. All right, so it's a big collaboration. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, oh, what's the name of your band on the on the record? On the record, the record. Yeah. not off on. <laughs> um, were either of you in any other bands before on the record? Well, not before, but I have joined other bands. Like afterward, like I have a funk, like a thrash funk band called U Caliente. That's been kind of struggling, but we're getting there. Yeah. But other than that, it's, I've been faithful to On the Record. Yeah, On the Record is is my baby. <laughs> I started it, you know, in, in 2008, and you, you can't stray away from your first child, you know, like. Logan and I will probably be on board for this for the long haul. So, I you know I'll do my solo stuff like acoustic play gigs there, but on the record is my thing. It's cool that your band has like worked out and it's your first band. Like I know a lot of people and like most of the time through my experience, the first band does not work out. That's like kind of the learning yeah experience. You know? We've we've had our ups and downs. Yeah, yeah like yeah. this whole thing is really has been a learning experience. But we decided like once we learn, we add that to our original mm -hmm. creation and mm -hmm. not leave it and make something else. Yeah, always build upon. Um, do you guys have like a certain audience you branch out to, or is it everyone? <coughs> well, anyone who wants to listen to our music is welcome. Really. Yeah, <laughs> we usually bring in the you know twelve to college crowd. Sometimes we'll have the uh, the occasional sixty year olds. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've, we've actually had like older couples come up and tell us how good our music was. Yeah, not even kidding. Aww. Which is which is fine by me. I mean, if somebody's liking our music, <laughs> then it's all worthwhile, right? Yep. So it all works out. Yeah. Um, do you think you guys would want to go into a career with this, or? I mean, yes. I mean, I love music, and I really want to do music. It's what I want to do with my life. Yeah. I, I feel like it, it's such a hard business to get into, like, professionally, to get signed and to get noticed. Mm -hmm. But I'll always be playing music live. It's, it's something that you're born with and you have to do. 
Like, I, and I feel like as long as I'm doing it, I'll probably be doing it with Logan because I don't really see anybody else I can play with that, you know, is good. So. Yeah, that's good that you found someone right off because you never really know who's going to be in the business and you yeah. never know if you can trust them. So that's good that you have a friend <laughs> that you can trust always and you know that you have the best intentions for each yeah. other. So Sam, do you have anything else you want to ask? Um, I don't think so. You guys um, want to play one of your songs? Yeah, sure. We'll do it. Cool. All right. All right. What's this song called? This song's called Panic. And it is a demo, so it's not the best thing in the world, but it's a demo. Yeah. <laughs> it's music. Yeah, hope you like it. section of our song where we're like I get to talk to the crowd and like have a speech and every time they're like play you get too long you get too long it's like I, I'm trying We're back with Clay and Logan of On the Record, and mm. that song was called Panic. It was really good, by the way. Mm. I just appreciate saying. It. Appreciate it. So, where, like, okay, when I was listening to that song, I felt like you were trying to make people feel free, like, <laughs> like, careless. Well, like, yeah. you know, careless, like, whatever type vibe. So what were you thinking when you started writing the song? Did you get any inspiration or? A girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's always girls who care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, like, I don't know. Like, there's a, there's a thing about how you try and go into a relationship, but end up freaking out and panicking about it. And, like, how... This whole slew of things goes down, and you're just blown away by it, and you just end up freaking out, or freak out, as we call it in the band. <laughs> That's the past tense of freak out. Uh, but anyways, you know, I I mean, I guess inspiration came from a girl. Yeah. So. All right. Oh, I don't mean to make you cry. <laughs> no, no, you're not making me cry. I think I think 
I like that because it's based off of what a lot of teenagers are going through. Yeah. Not even teenagers, just people in general, like having relationships. And I know a lot of people that panic, and they've been through it for the long run already. Yeah. So, I mean, hey. I panic a lot, but <laughs> Logan Logan doesn't panic at all because he's the only one in the band who has a girlfriend. Oh, so you're He's the only successful one. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think so. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I went to, you guys, you guys played at, um, Battle of Bands yep. at Cat's Cradle, um, and won. Yeah. <laughs> what, what was that like? I mean, we didn't, we didn't really expect it at all. I mean, last year, last year we, uh, went to the same Battle of Bands and we didn't even place, and we were really bummed out about that. But, um, this year we went in not expecting to win, and we actually did, and we were just really kind of freaked out. Yeah. It it was a, always a shocker that when you win something. We've won two Battle of the Bands so far. This it was our second one, uh, and it's it's been great. You know, just winning and being recognized for your talents. Uh, I'd also, in the meantime, I would like to give a shout out to Mr. Daniel Henry. He was our <laughs> bass player. Played with at the Cat's Cradle. He's in college now, but you know. He's we a champion. Him we miss him. Yeah, we miss him a lot. So, he's a cool guy. So, where do you think um, people can catch your band next? Uh, we're actually playing a show tonight in Raleigh. Yeah, Deep South Bar in Raleigh. It's the first time we've ever played in Raleigh, so it's really a big deal for us. Yeah, we're big uh, hockey fans, Carolina Hurricanes. Oh yes. So Raleigh is the hometown of the Hurricanes, so that's a big yeah. deal for us. Uh, shows doors open at seven. Yeah. Show starts at eight. Yeah, it'll be it'll be the opening band is Good Luck Varsity, and then we go on, and then it closes with the Blue Suits. They're yeah. an awesome band. You should really check yeah. them out. It's a band we've been touring with over the past couple of months. So, it's a sixteen up show, and it's five dollars. So just to clarify that, yeah. we don't want any fifteen year olds showing up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not to just... mean that mean, but <laughs> we love our fifteen year olds. <laughs> Yeah, I was just about to ask you because you said bar. I was like, well, I yeah. don't think I can go. <laughs> we tried to get that away, but it's a bar and they want IDs or something like that. Yeah, Whatever crazy, that is. Right? Crazy. But, um, so do you want to give any more shout outs before you go? Do you want to say anything else about your band that the listeners should know about? Uh, I, I just appreciate everybody listening to the music. Uh, everybody who comes to the shows, uh, shout out to our drummer Daniel DeWitt, yeah. our uh, new part-time bass player Alfred Williamson. Yeah, I want to give a shout out, out to my dad, I mean he really supported us all through this, like when we first started out he played drums for us and mm -hmm. really, he really directed us and he really put us a step in the right direction and I just want to tell him thanks for doing that for us all these years. Yeah, you always got to thank your parents, I mean that's a sweet sweet thing to do so yeah yeah don't forget your parents i love my parents they will actually about it um afterwards but um so all right thanks again for sharing your music clay and logan and i hope you all enjoyed it um this is fyr on wxyc 89.3 fm chapel hill <laughs>